Hello everyone, and welcome to Galaxy 89 Cars. Today, thanks to Wilson's Epsom, I'm bringing you an in-depth exterior and interior tour of this 2019 Tesla Model 3 performance. At the time of publishing, Wilson's Epsom have this, in addition to many of the high specification cars for sale, and all of their contact details can be found in the description of the video. Model 3 aims to provide a relatively low cost, high quality, high volume, and most importantly usable electric car and is Tesla's key to becoming a profitable company. Built around a metal structure made from a combination of aluminium and steel and finished here in deep blue metallic, Model 3 comes in at 4,694mm long, 1,849mm wide, 1,443mm high and has a curb weight of 1860kg, with the car having a weight distribution of 47 to the front and 53% to the rear. The battery and motors are kept quite low down in the chassis to keep the center of gravity as low as possible. However, this means we can't view any output related hardware as we normally would in my videos. Model 3 currently comes in three output versions, starting with standard range plus, then long range and ending with performance at the top. This performance variant is powered by two electric motors, one at the front and one at the rear that enables all wheel drive, and a 70 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack that produces 353 kilowatts, or 473 brake horsepower, and 639 newton meters of torque. In this performance model, this output results in a 0 to 62 mile per hour, or 100 km per hour time of 3.2 seconds, and a top speed of 162 miles per hour. This variant of Model 3 comes with front and rear 20 inch performance alloy wheels, here in the light finish. Braking comes from ventilated performance, 355mm front, and 335mm rear disc brakes. Model 3 also comes with regenerative braking that can slow energy loss. Stability comes from front double wishbones and a multi-link setup at the rear, both with coil springs and telescopic dampers that have been lowered slightly in this performance variant. Now we've finished the model overview, we can start the in-depth exterior tour from front to back. At the bottom, there's a slim air vent to enable air to cool the car and be used in the ventilation system. On either side of this, there are aero channels that help to streamline and direct air along the side of the car. Above these are the optional slim LED fog lights that come with the performance and long range variants. And moving up, we come to the main beams with their LED daytime running light strip below and auto high beam assist function. Moving back, we come to the smooth front boot lid that helps the Model 3 have such a low drag coefficient. The large windscreen is behind this with two wipers below and an array of cameras for the autopilot system above. This large, almost panoramic tinted sunroof with UV and infrared protection is standard on all models. We can now move to Model 3's lateral aspect. At the sides, the smooth aesthetic continues from the bottom up with these flowing side skirts. The first feature we come to are the rearward facing autopilot cameras with engraved Tesla logos. Above these are the standard auto dimming, heated, power folding and electrically adjustable wing mirrors. Moving along, we come to the integrated door handles that we will look at in more detail later in the video. Above these and on the B pillars, we find the forward facing cameras for the autopilot system and sensors for the keycard. Moving back up, the wide, tinted rear window runs down and finishes with an LED brake light strip. Continuing along the smooth rear boot lid, we come to the slim, matte carbon fiber spoiler that comes with these performance models. Despite being quite a small component, it does noticeably impact on the aesthetic as seen here. Now moving to the very rear of Model 3, we first come to a Tesla logo, and below this, the rear view camera. On either side of these, we come to the large rear light complexes that wrap around the car to provide enhanced lateral visibility. Moving to the left light, we find the car's charging port. This can be opened by using a control on the car's touchscreen. Once opened, the AC and DC inputs can be accessed with guidance lights. Performance has a range of 329 miles, and up to 170 miles of range can be recharged in just 30 minutes at a Tesla supercharger. Once finished in this area, the lid can be easily closed. Moving down, the smooth aesthetic continues along the bumper with two reflectors towards its bottom. Underneath Model 3, we find a large open diffuser area with two fins on either side. Now we've finished the exterior tour, we can move inside. Model 3 comes with key cards as standard as the traditional fob is extra. This key card can be used to lock and unlock the car by pressing it to the B-pillar sensor seen earlier. Once unlocked, the door can be opened by depressing the rear of the integrated handle to make it pivot out and then by pulling lightly. Model 3 has taken Tesla's already minimalistic interior to a new level with no instrument cluster ahead of the driver or physical buttons in the central column. Here, the optional white leather interior has been specced. Black comes as standard. We can now start the in-depth interior tour with the doors. The doors start with a smooth, rounded and featureless panel that ends with the first speaker from the 14-speaker premium audio system. 
below the central white leather upholstered panel, there is a black leather upholstered armrest that leads to the door handle and buttons for the electric windows and door release above. The very bottom of the door starts with this red night entry light, large open storage area and second speaker. Now moving into the car, the sill is neither high nor wide, so ingress and egress is a straightforward process. The sill is covered by the standard brushed aluminium kick plate, and moving up, there are no storage areas or buttons, just the start of the cabin width air vent behind the wheel that we'll explore in more detail later in the video. In front of this is the simplistic steering wheel. It is upholstered with padded black leather and comes with a single multifunctional scroll wheel to the left. Tesla logo and horn controls centrally, and another multifunctional button to the right. These buttons can be used for several different functions that we'll explore later in the video, but currently the button to the right can be used to adjust the driver's info panel. The button to the left adjusts the main screen itself. Behind and to the right of the wheel, we find the car's drive selector for its single-speed fixed-gear transmission that can only be used in full automatic mode. Moving back, the dash is an equally simplistic area with only venting for the front window and the single, cabin-width air vent at the front. Centrally, we come to Model 3's 15-inch touchscreen display with a UI that improves over time thanks to over-the-air software updates. As previously seen, this screen is broken into two. The right side displays driver-related info and starts with selected drive mode and remaining mileage and various controls for the car below, such as the reversing camera, remaining charge and mileage, and voice commands. Below these, we can access various trips, starting with since start, since last charge, trips A and B, and the odometer, and finally vehicle status. The front and back boot lids and the charge port flap can also be opened here. Now moving to the main display, we start with the very responsive sat-nav. This can be manually adjusted to find a desired location or points of interest, or a specific destination can be manually input or selected from previous destinations. This satellite map with traffic visualizations comes with the premium interior option. Moving down to the controls below, we start with the rear demister, then front demister, three-stage passenger heated seat, and passenger zone temperature control. In the next option screen, we get a visualization of the air coming from the cabin with the vent ahead. Air direction and intensity can be manually adjusted using the touchscreen, or the pre-selected options to the right can be selected. In the secondary menu, the user can adjust seat heating controls for the front and rear seats, and enable dog mode to keep a safe ambient temperature when leaving a pet alone in the car. Moving to the right, controls for the driver's three-stage seat heater is next. By pressing the icon to the right, we are presented with a variety of different options, starting with a new selection of arcade games. Toybox comes after, where the user can use different items and modes, such as driving around Mars or placing a virtual whoopee cushion on selected seats. The toy box can then be virtually closed, and we can move on to the next item, which is calls and messages. After this, we can access the review camera, and then the car's in-car entertainment streaming service, also from the premium interior upgrade. An in-depth energy consumption graph comes next that shows real-world usage data, trip and instant and average range. Backing out of this menu, the calendar is next and can be synced with the user's Android or Apple phone to keep up to date with their schedule. More in-depth charging options come next, with the option to set the charge limiter to prolong the car's battery life. Next, we come to the radio and media controls. These offer FM and DAB digital radio and the ability to access music streaming services if the premium interior option has been selected. Devices can also be connected via Bluetooth and USB and an equalizer can be accessed to adjust the car's audio. Now moving into car, we start with quick controls to adjust the front lights, mirrors and steering wheel. Moving down, we come to more in-depth controls for the lights, then lock configuration options. 
Display, Language and Unit Configuration options come next. Then Driving for Acceleration, Steering Mode and Regenerative Braking Configuration. Autopilot Configuration Controls come next, that will shortly be able to offer full self-driving capabilities. The final four options are for Navigation, Safety and Security, Service Information and the Location for Current and Over-the-Air Software Updates. Moving down from the screen, we come to the central column. The top compartment can be opened with a light depress, and the one behind it by lifting it up. Inside, we find a large amount of storage space with two USB ports here thanks to the premium interior upgrade. Once finished here, the various lids can be easily fixed back into place. Behind these, there are two open cup holders. The large, raised black leather upholstered jewel armrest behind the cup holders can be unlatched at the front and then lifted up to reveal another large central storage area. There's a removable lid that, once removed, reveals further storage below. Once finished in this area, the lids can be easily fixed back down. On either side of the central column are the white leather upholstered 12-way adjustable and heated front seats, thanks to the premium interior option, that come with a lot of padding. All movement controls for forward and back, up and down, tilt back and forth and other adjustments are found to the sides. Now we finish in the front, we can move to the rear. The rear doors are opened in the same way as the front, and moving inside, we find quite a light and airy space, thanks to the white leather bench and large sunroof above. Now sitting in the rear, we can take a POV look around. We start with the pronounced headrest of the front seat, and looking down, a small storage wallet. Moving left, we come to the rear ventilation and device connectivity, rest of the bench, including the central occasional seat. Rear window and sunroof above, and then back to the front. Let's take a look at some of these features in more depth. Above each door is a deployable coat hook that can only be pushed back in after depressing the small catch inside. Moving centrally, we come to the rear projection of the central column with its two manually adjustable air vents and dual USB inputs thanks to the premium interior option. Behind this is a central occasional seat. It can be pulled down after gripping the top to reveal an armrest and two cup holders. Once finished with, it can be fixed back into place with a firm depress. Now we've finished in the rear, we can move to the car's remaining storage capacity. The front glove compartment can be opened using the touchscreen and offers a large illuminated storage area. Once finished here, the lid needs to be manually pushed back into place. Just like with other Teslas, Model 3 has both front and rear storage, as there's no engine. Both the front and rear boot lids can be opened using the touchscreen, but also the optional key fob. Once unlatched, the bonnet can be easily lifted up and self-supported on two struts. The underside of the bonnet has an interesting honeycomb pattern and venting around the edge to disperse warm air that might build up in the front. The front boot is a very usable but relatively shallow space here with a towing eye and support kit. Once finished in the front, the boot needs to be manually brought down and fixed with a firm depress at the front. As previously mentioned, the rear bootlet can be opened by using the touchscreen or the optional key fob and then lifted up manually. Model 3 has quite a slim but long rear storage space, and combined with the front boot, it has a total storage capacity of 425 litres in these two spaces. Taking a closer look, there's an indentation to the left, charging cable ahead and illumination above. Before we close the bootlet, we can lift the floor to find further capacity and the Tesla car care kit. Once finished here, the bootlet can be manually brought down and fixed below. Now we've finished with storage, we can move back inside briefly and view the car's final few features. There are large, leather upholstered sun visors on each side, with illuminated vanity mirrors and magnetic covers. Moving centrally, we come to the adjustable front lighting, speakers and buttons for the hazard lights and SOS. Finally, the tinted rear view mirror is ahead.
So that concludes my in-depth exterior and interior tour of this 2019 Tesla Model 3 Performance that's for sale with Wilson's Epsom at the time of publishing. All of their contact details are in the description of the video. Please subscribe for the latest content and until next time, thanks for watching.